Germany and Norway have officially unveiled the newest Leopard 2A8 main battle tanks, along with upgraded PZH-2000 self-propelled howitzers, marking one of the most significant events in Europe's defense sector in recent years. The presentation, held on November 19 in Munich at the KNDS facility, was far more than a routine display of new equipment. It served as a political signal, a technological milestone, and a practical step in strengthening Europe's defense capabilities. The presence of German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius, Bavarian Prime Minister Markus Söder, Norwegian State Secretary Marte Gerhardsen, and delegations from five countries highlighted the multinational nature of the program and its strategic importance amid rising geopolitical turbulence. The Leopard 2A8 represents the next step in the evolution of Germany's renowned main battle tank family and symbolizes Europe's renewed focus on heavy mechanized forces. After decades of shrinking armored fleets, the new configuration is a direct response to modern threats, namely the widespread proliferation of advanced anti-tank systems and the growing dominance of kamikaze drones on the battlefield. The most defining feature of the 2A8 is the integration of the Israeli Trophy Active Protection System, one of the most effective APS solutions in the world. Its installation on German and Norwegian tanks is not merely an upgrade, it marks a shift toward a new level of survivability in which passive armor is no longer the vehicle's sole protective measure. The adoption of Trophy indicates that European defense planners fully recognize the need for active protection in an environment where anti-tank threats have increased exponentially. Lessons from Ukraine's war against Russia clearly demonstrate how vulnerable even the most advanced tanks can be without APS, and how rapidly drones and precision-guided weapons dominate modern combat. In this sense, the Leopard 2A8 is not simply a modernization, it is a transition to a new generation of armored vehicles designed to operate in a battle space saturated with anti-armor weaponry. In addition to the APS, the tank features enhanced communication systems, new sensors, and upgraded electronics that allow seamless integration into network-centric battle management systems, another defining trend of modern warfare. The emergence of the Leopard 2A8 also coincides with a broader push for multinational procurement. Germany, Norway, Lithuania, the Netherlands, and Czechia are jointly acquiring the new tanks, creating several strategic advantages, reduced logistics and maintenance costs, unified upgrade pathways, and streamlined crew training. This collaborative approach enables European nations to collectively strengthen their ground forces and build a shared pool of heavy armored capability. It is also noteworthy that production of the Leopard 2A8 will be split between Munich and partner facilities across Europe, reinforcing industrial ties and reducing dependency on a single production site. Alongside the 2A8, KNDS presented an upgraded version of the PZH-2000, considered one of the most capable artillery systems in the Western world. The howitzer has proven its exceptional performance in real combat conditions, including its deployment in Ukraine, where it has demonstrated high accuracy, mobility, and resilience in counter-battery engagements. The updated variant highlights Europe's determination not only to maintain but also to expand its advantage in artillery capabilities, a critical factor given the increasingly positional nature of modern high-intensity conflicts. The public debut of the Leopard 2A8 equipped with Trophy is particularly significant, as it marks the first official appearance of European armored vehicles with fully integrated active protection systems. Eurotrophy GmbH emphasized that this represents a substantial technological breakthrough, boosting survivability and adapting vehicles to future battlefield realities. APS technology is becoming as essential as the armor itself, and integrating it from the earliest stages of a tank's life cycle reflects a fundamental shift in design philosophy. The rollout of the 2A8 also highlights efforts to replenish European armored fleets after large-scale transfers of equipment to Ukraine, which left several NATO states with capability gaps. The Leopard 2A8 program is intended to restore these armored reserves and ensure that EU armies possess modern platforms capable of fighting in high-intensity scenarios. It is already clear that the Leopard 2A8 is positioned to become one of Europe's dominant tanks for decades, combining powerful firepower, improved protection, and advanced digital systems. In a broader context, the presentation of the 2A8 and the upgraded PZH-2000 shows that Europe is intensifying cooperation in the defense industry. The lessons of the war in Ukraine, 
combined with rising instability in the Middle East and the Indo-Pacific, are pushing European governments to accelerate rearmament. Joint procurement, unified platforms, active protection integration, and expanded industrial collaboration are all elements of a new strategic direction aimed at ensuring Europe remains capable of defending itself and sustaining its role within NATO. Ultimately, the official rollout of the Leopard 2A8 and upgraded PZH-2000 is not just an industrial milestone, it is a major step toward a new European security architecture. The Leopard 2A8, equipped with trophy and next-generation digital systems, stands as a symbol of Europe's transition to a new era of armored warfare, while the enhanced PZH-2000 strengthens the continent's artillery superiority. The Munich event confirmed that European armies are moving toward a future where their equipment is better protected, more digitally interconnected, more autonomous, and far more prepared for the realities of modern conflict.